Alright, second match of the big matches. Alright, um, is this good against Gabe? Maybe. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna keep this, because I've got a Mushin, and whatever, if he steals Philotic, stop it on the world. I will go this. So basically, this is a complete shell game deck. I don't usually play the style, I'm more of the and be cheat to win style. Uh, so this is, this is fun for me, it's interesting. Alright, oh, got that Ronin, excellent. So I think we're gonna go Ice HQ with Yugura, Ice R&D with Ichi, and then Cry Deeply. Uh, so then I will draw another card, because I'll have like, 6, and I'll have 7. Oh, thank you. Boom. HQ. That's good, because it keeps my identity... No, no, identity. Agenda density in my hand low enough. It fakes out professional contacts. Criminal. Interesting. So he's not going to. Ah, uh, uh, good fairy. Uh, Alright, let's play the game, I think. Uh, I want to score the Gia next turn. So I need to put down two things this turn. Here's to hoping we can score Gia Hands. If we score Gia Hands against him, uh, we're in a huge, huge no not. A very good position, not huge. There's no size. Um, because, so basically, if we get Gia Hands off, we can, um, even if he siphons, which I don't think he will because he's playing resources, um, he'll Gia. Like, I can gain three and click so all my snares turn back on the line, even from zero. I mean, I guess it... No, it really does, I guess, for us. Probably a bad card to actually snipe. That's great. Excellent. So I've got no... Oh, actually, I've got DRTs in this deck, I forgot. the Yugur on R&D this turn for sure. Then that leaves me, I guess I'll play the Psychic Field face down. Get a break. Can't handle this shell game. Alright, so let's talk about, I guess, a bit about my deck. Um, so Yugura is interesting. Sorry, Yugura is not interesting. Yugura is the best piece of ice that came out of. Is that Honor and Profit? No. <laughs> Way before that. Um, I love it. It's amazing. It's Code Gate that does damage. Amazing. Um, I have a 1 of Itchy 1.0 in this deck, and the sole purpose is to kill Deus Ex or other, um, like, net shields, things like that. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually gotten to play it, because it's a 1 of, and so this is the first time that I draw it, and I'm in a position where I could, like, play it and click the key hands. Um, Philotic, I like to play on the table, completely undefended. And then, whenever it would work out that, like, if they start stealing a lot of one-pointers, you can just advance it three times and they take a ton of damage. Uh, 
uh, Diversified, it is kind of a bad card, I find, but it's it pulls its weight in this deck. Uh, it does really well. And finally, I think this is actually the best card, like the MVP card of like that Jiteki has. Um, it came out on a profit rate. Yes, he's back, my opponent, and uh, it just allows you to commit to heavier traps without wasting your your cash, which is crazy actually. Because before the problem was you always you played um, you played your traps, but they cost you like three turns worth. Because you'd have to install advance, advance it, so you needed those credits, and you needed that turn to play it. So, okay, that's two turns. Okay, what do we got today? We got Ronin the second, okay? So now, I'm going to... I'm just gonna advance... I'm gonna... Mushin... I'm kinda scared, because I'm low on money, so I think I'm just gonna play it slow and... Uh, Take money, and do I want to play the Philotic? If I was going to play it, I think I should play it last turn. He's at five cards, so he's at a high risk of running, if you want to look at it that way. So overall, kind of a, a lame turn, but... Gordon Blade. So this beats my Yaguras, but I mean, it's it still costs two to get through every time. I just want a legwork, come on. Hey, right, Jackson Howard. So we're gonna throw him down, face down. Um. Yeah, throw him face down and then motion the other Ronin, I think. Or should I just straight up just motion the Ronin and advance it? Again, I'm scared that he's gonna come in with like a double siphon, like to the point where now he's established. So I slow played it, I just played the Jackson and I gained more money. Because uh, I'm really scared that uh, he'll siphon me to zero and then my traps will be worthless. The one thing I do need is like, like I don't actually need any ice because uh, it's all a trap. So did he just... Okay, he installed and then he drew three cards. Oh, I got pumped. Okay, this is good. So one thing that's interesting about this deck is unless he's got a levy, he's on a clock. And so drawing through his deck like this is not helping him. Like, he's already at 27 plus 5 hit points, if you want to look at it that way. Um, so what was the plan? I'm going to play... Philotic undefended and take money. He's targeting it. Is he going to play infiltration? Oof's the knight. Here comes the siphon. So if he plays two siphons... So watch, he just made a mistake here. He did minus four with the knight, he could have broken it with Guardian Blade for two. Oh cool, so 
Siphon Lawyer. Legit. The thing is, like, because I have gear, I end up basically immune to Siphon, so I'm just gonna keep... I'm just gonna, like, be like, oh, okay, you did something, so then I'll... Um... I'm wondering if I can bait him into, like, if I can advance. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna advance the cerebral. Oh no, now I have to throw out a card. Mistakes were made. Uh. Ichi 1.0. Alright, so as sad as that is, now I have to throw out the Ichi 1.0. Uh, because I want to hold on to all these other cards. So, prep 4 is a Deus Ex. Corroder. So it's kind of. Interesting. Okay, so he just spent two hit points doing that. Because this deck is not about... Um... It's not about money or icebreakers. It's about hitting Feudal AI on your Earth before last click and Oof, or a snare. Mmm, delicious. Of course, I'd like to activate it. Uh, so now he loses the game. Because this is a Ronin. And he has one card in hand. Alright, good game. GG! There you have it. I don't know if I've ever won with points on this deck yet. Uh, I just... it seems that people just... They just die, because like, you unless you play super safe, then... You will probably die because, like, next turn I was uh, gonna motion, motion the other Ronin out. And, like, well, if you run in and throw an overrider, you lose the game. Yeah, so if you look, you basically have to think what is the worst case scenario constantly. And so that's the thing, like, running click 3. Since I'm 110 and 100, oh nice. Alright, so there you have it, that's my second stem hack league game. And... Uh, yeah, if anyone's wondering, the music that I'm listening to and that my video will probably get banned for is uh, the Shadow Run Returns OST. Uh, great game, grab it on Steam. It's good! Alright, so until next time, GG's.